But anyway, you do that. You drink hot chocolate. You go see the lights. Mm-hmm. You would come home. You get into be- Oh, no, no. Before you got into debt, didn't you bake cookies for Santa? I ain't bake no cookies for Santa, bro. Oh. All right. At my house, Santa wasn't bringing gifts. Oh. It was Jesus. <laughs> Jesus brought the gifts. I'm so sorry for you. I ain't sorry. That's who brought the gifts. Jesus Christ. Hey, you just dropped in with Aaron and Travis. A couple of words where we give our two cents about these millennial topics. Stay tuned for this next episode. Hey, it's a couple of words. Just a couple of words. Just Not a whole bunch of words, but just a couple of words. Yeah. I am one half of this lovely podcast. Erin. And I'm Travis. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. You yeah. should put like the little subscribe thing there. I have to. Oh. Well, I don't know. <laughs> You're so creative. <laughs> Get away. Okay, so today we are talking about the holidays. Holiday, Why are we singing two different songs? I thought you were gonna come you on don't my be on. Wave. Yeah, you, you on a whole on different book. Your wave, but I was on. I wanted you to be on my wave. You in the same Harry Potter book, but in a whole different chapter, bro. I don't even get on the same page. Do you name one Harry Potter book? Something with the stone. All right. <laughs> we talking about holidays today. Whatever. <laughs> something with the stone? Yeah, something with the stone, bro. Whatever. So let's go ahead and jump right into this podcast with the fun facts. 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 Okay. Mm. In the holiday season, I decided to do a fun fact about Black Friday. Okay. Okay. Did you know Black Friday? Yesterday was Friday. I was black. Black every Friday. Black Friday is the busiest day of the year for plumbers. For plumbers, the day after Thanksgiving is known as Brown Friday. Really? Mm-hmm. Um, clock sinks are the most common problem since people are trying to improperly dispose of food scraps. And this is according to Business Insider. That, I was about to say that. with a whole bunch of people who come over to use your bathroom because grandma's casserole was not hitting this year. Hmm. That makes sense, though. You want another fun fact about Black Friday, too? What's the fun fact? Did you know... Oh, 12% of Black Friday shoppers are actually drunk. I didn't know that. According to a survey conducted on behalf of the coupon site Retail Me Not, mm-hmm. 12% of all Black Friday shoppers admit they hit the stores while under the influence. That's how they uh, trampled that one lady at the uh, at the Walmart. Really? Yeah, they trampled her. Like That was like a couple years back. So 12%? And the, the door is open and uh-huh. she went down. Everybody went over her and she died. So she had bad knees and 12% of them was gone off the henny. That's what you're trying to tell me. I don't know. Bad knees and henny. Bad knees and henny. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. to that woman, though. That's, that was sad, bro. It's like, y'all not going to stop? What was she trying to purchase? I don't know. S- same thing they was. They got to it first. Unfortunately, we're in the age of Kavikiana and um, can't do that now. Can't do that. Everybody was online. Well, no, I saw some. I saw Target open and people was in line at Target For to real? get in. GameStop was open because everybody was trying to get that PS Five. This is not a good. That time. line was around the corner to be a, a Amazon worker. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, this is not a good time. You don't think so? Can we do a moment of silence for the FedEx and Amazon workers? Why do they need a moment of silence? Because they Whatever. probably hate their job. Probably right. Moment of silence. But they probably getting that dough. Get that dough. Get that dough. <laughs> Shout out to them, though. Shout out. They be they be working hard, especially during holidays. Okay. So, um, are you ready for my favorite part? 
of the podcast. For the culture. For the culture. Mm-hmm. No, you think I'd be wrong. Because you are wrong. wrong. You know get them right like you just naturally suck at this i've gotten three correct it's as, three out of 15 but it's three somebody who's super competitive uh-huh. and you always beat me i get joy out of this because you suck at it you see you see this is toxicity no that's toxicity right no. there Yes. You know what? Toxic Tuesdays. <laughs> That's what days I thrive on. Why well, you gotta look at me like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I know you're not gonna get this. In the movie Stomp the Yard, Columbus Short, his younger brother, was shot in like the first 10 minutes of the movie. Who was his younger brother played by? We are the boys of Sigma Theta. <laughs> Evan Ross? Who? Evan Ross? Who? Who is his brother played by, bro? Who? Oh, Chris Brown. Oh, Chris Breezy was his brother. Because everybody was like, dang, it have been little Chris Breezy was actually on the university, bro. But yeah, it was Chris Brown was his little brother that got shot. Is that your final answer? Yeah, because he did the whole hat thing. Don't nobody forget that. Chris Breezy, he threw the hat, everything, boy. They had some they had some lit dances on there, though, bro. I know I'm right. Ain't nobody. <laughs> you are correct. Oh, my gosh. I blame. I'm so proud of you. I watched that movie like 20 times, bro. Like, then why did you say Evan Ross? I was thinking of a light-skinned dude. They like Those the are the <laughs> only two light-skinned actors that you know. <laughs> light-skinned, light-skinned, super light-skinned actors. They are the most prominent that continuously keep getting in movies. Name one other Evan Ross movie. Evan Ross movie? Yeah. Movie that Evan Ross has been that in. he was in? Other than ATL. He was in a couple of Medea. I think it was in one Medea. Um, what's another one? Shoot. This isn't a for the culture. I'm genuinely curious. I only know him for one movie. Right. He's in other movies. He's just not the 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 star. Like they like a couple on Netflix. I can't remember the names of them now. Hmm. So starting off with holidays, let's just kind of bypass the Halloween because Halloween is no longer really considered like a true holiday. Neither is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is like the... They are holidays. Thanksgiving is like that stepsister nobody really paid attention to. That's a lie. I do have a a question. This is a real legit question. Is Black Friday considered a holiday? Mm, I wouldn't say so. So why do we put so much emphasis on it? Because you get money or you get sales. Oh. Huh. That's why. Look at it's you. the only reason why. Businessman trap. It's like connected to Thanksgiving though, kind of. Hmm. Because it's like the, the night after Thanksgiving, so. Twas the night after Thanksgiving. hmm And all through the house. Wow. Had an Xbox Five. Wait, is that nah, what it's, they have? It's PS5. And, oh, uh, sorry. Y'all can go. Y'all can go in on the comments if <laughs> y'all sorry. want to. I don't know. I don't know these things. I just know I had a coworker Let who said it. he bought a PS something for her nine hundred dollars with four games. It's a PS5. He was like, "This a deal." Everybody was like, "Oh no, we jealous." I was like, "Oh, okay. boy, you got jipped, boy. They made you pay on." <laughs> It's cool though. You got your game, bro. But didn't you get your game? I got the Series X, but I paid regular price. Thank you. Did you stand in line? Well, you couldn't have stood in line. Mm-mm. How'd you get it though? I had to pay this little dude that I know at work. No, you did not have a connection. <laughs> because you had a connection. You're one okay. of those dudes with connection. Okay, just so y'all know, the reason these keep selling out so quickly. Is that these dudes that be selling it on eBay for Does a thousand? It, no, no, no. It don't even work. For a thousand dollars? Turn it They on. be selling for a thousand dollars? They jipping. They over here, they got software on the dang computer. 
as soon as it goes on sale, the software buys it. He turned that Xbox on and go, din, 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 din. So the dude I know at work, he uses the software to get money. <laughs> And he was like, I can get you it. I just got to give me 50 extra dollars. And I gave him 50 extra dollars on top of it. Wow. You have trust in people? Yeah, I trusted them. No, they those people on eBay, they actually got it. Those people on Does eBay. Does it work? Yeah, it's brand new out the box. That don't mean nothing. That no, I'm talking about it. I'm just telling you it's brand new out the box, sealed, everything. It was fresh. I'll show you the video when we unboxed this it. This man. <laughs> Me and my little brother unboxed that mug and I just videoed it a little bit. He like, just hey. did a full on unboxing video. <laughs> that thing go hard though. Hey, when y'all play that 2K, man, that 2K is crazy. Whatever. <laughs> I understand. I can I can see what you're saying. Because to be honest, when we had our little Nintendo for Christmas, the Nintendo 64. It was it was everything. Mm-hmm. I remember them days. Get them Sega Genesis, the PlayStation One. But that was that was like real Christmas time. Like that was that was the memories that hey, bring you back. That's true. That's what the little kids now they go through. They get those little memories. Do they? Mm-hmm. What are the kids' games now? Like I don't even know what they are. Yeah, just because you don't know. No. They're playing Fortnite like them. <laughs> Give me some V-Bucks for Fortnite. That's what they do. I've seen the actual Fortnite game because for a small segment in my life, and when I say small, I mean like a day, I was like super into watching people play video games. And then I realized, why am I watching this? Mm -hmm. Because it was interesting for a little bit. It was, but it was a story game. Yeah, the story game. And it was about this man trying to like revenge on his family. It was really good. Anyway... I was like, why am I watching this? And so then I started watching Fortnite stuff. And I was like, this is dumb. (laughs) And then this dude was doing the dance. He was like this. And I was just like, why Mm. did he bust out dancing in the middle of this? This is what the kids have to look for? Yeah, they look for this. There's still the the younger kids that still get toys and stuff. And then they mostly be looking at the iPad. Nowadays, I'll be seeing, but... The little kids, they still get toys. You don't understand true joy. When I got my baby wiggles and giggles, yeah. it was everything. They still get those. They still get the little toys. Kids still get baby wiggles and giggles. Not Travis. wiggles and giggles. I don't know about wiggles and giggles. I know. I don't even know what that is. I'm it talking, was a little baby and it wiggled and giggled. No, I'm talking about they still get the dolls, though. They got different brands of dolls that do different things. I think I'll still get my kids a doll. People still do it. Amazon go crazy with the, the um, with selling toys like that. Did you see like those new Barbies that they have? Like they mm. have like the average size Barbies. Nope. I I mean I don't want to be that superficial person, but like I'd still I'd still get my kid a regular Barbie. Like I don't want to get my kid a Barbie that looks like a regular person. Like just let the kid have an imagination. Let them live like now, and then they'll grow and then realize they don't look like this picture of perfection. Let them do it like how we did it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let her have the fact that I almost cursed. <laughs> oh, it's just too much control nowadays. They try to control too much of what the the kid can think of. Like they're just trying to control too much. Is that what kind of parent you're gonna be? Or are you gonna be like, no, nah, you can't have this video game? Ah, uh, for some games, yeah, you got to. Like it depends on what age they are. Like is Fortnite one of those games that gets vulgar? No, vote. no, that's a kid game. They shoot, but they don't show no blood or nothing. Nigga just, <laughs> <laughs> he just, he just, he just disappear and come back, bro. Um, no, that's not as bad. It depends on what age too. I think over nine years old, you can play Fortnite, but like under that, why? Oh, so you don't play it? I do not play Fortnite. Oh, I didn't know that. I was hop a on some Call game. of Duty though. I thought that. Was a child's game. Fortnite I mean, is. That's why I don't game, play like it. A regular game. Sorry. No, there's still people who are older that play that game, but it's just not for me. It ain't really never been for me. <laughs> it's just not my type of game. But no. I and then at the same time, I never tried it to ever get into it. I just like played like one time, and then I was like, I'm good. Mm-hmm. 
But Call of Duty, a hey, Call of Duty. That's what I do. That's what I've done. I ain't been having too much time because you work. probably sucked at it. All right. All right. <laughs> but that's just ask me. though. Ask about no. I'm playing. Ask who? I was cool. Ask I was. who the other little I, kids in the other country who was just little ten year olds. The ten year olds who don't have nothing else. So you got work in the morning. And they start talking that ish, boy. They start talking ish online. Boy. I heard they get really racist online. They can. I've I've never been gotten racist at. I think one time somebody did say N I G R. That's how they wrote With it. With the hardy R? They just wrote N I G R, not N I G E R, just N I G R. That that's the same thing as the hardy R. Basically. Babe, that's the hard ER. I can't do nothing about it. <laughs> hey, online. I just like, gotta you know keep what? it moving. I'm just gonna log off, okay? That shows I ain't you, buddy. Off. That shows you I don't have tolerance. I ain't got no feel for that. What? You gonna get in the feels? You gonna get in your feelings? I always get in the feels. Oh you should gosh. know me. You should know me and know all about this. Wow. I'm just saying. So for like me, that's what Christmas just was. It was just the feels. It was all the games, waking up. Mm-hmm. Did your dad ever dress up as Santa? No. Mm-mm. Get the bike, man. My my dad never dressed up as Santa, bro. I don't know. They took me to the mall and go take the picture with Santa. Um. That's all I used to do. West Oaks Mall. <laughs> <laughs> go to West Oaks. That's when West Oaks was popping. Don't laugh at West Oaks. Just because of how they look now. It was never popping. It was popping. <laughs> She don't believe it. Too young to know. <laughs> she don't believe it, but West Oaks is popping, y'all. Y'all remember. If we, you're from Houston. And then you went to go see Santa. But I yeah. mean, seeing Santa was actually better than seeing the Easter Bunny. Half the time, those Easter Bunnies was so scary. I didn't like the Easter Bunny. It was just, weird. Mm-mm. But anyway, you do that. You drink hot chocolate. You go see the lights. Mm-hmm. You would come home. You get into oh no no before you got into debt didn't you bake cookies for Santa? I ain't bake no cookies for Santa, bro. Oh, uh, at my house, Santa wasn't bringing gifts. Oh. It was Jesus. <laughs> Jesus brought the gifts. I'm so sorry for you. I ain't sorry. That's I'm who sorry. brought the gifts. Jesus Christ. Santa bought the no, Jesus Christ didn't even have to go down the chimney. Did you wait? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did your mom write to Travis from, from Jesus? Jesus. Yep. That's who brought me my gifts. Okay, what did bring you? <laughs> what did Jesus bring you, Travis? <laughs> Boy, he used to bring me them Hot Wheels. <laughs> Boy, it's like the big ball Hot Wheel, and they all go around. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It was all kinds of different Hot Wheels. I forgot about the Hot Wheels. And then he brought me the Power Ranger, um, the whole <laughs> machine when they connect and they get big. Oh, the whole thing. That's actually very sweet. Mm-hmm. You, you, I raced them and then brought them together. You never <laughs> told <laughs> me this. <laughs> In my head, it did what it did on TV. But really, it was like slower, like... <laughs> wait, wait. So you were, the, you were that kid that made the sounds. Yes. <laughs> I was always a Green Ranger. I was a Green Ranger or a Black Ranger Ranger because everybody wants to be the Black Ranger. No, everybody was trying to be the Green, White, or Black. If you was Black, technically, I wanted you wanted. Well, I didn't do it, but when we did play it, I was the Pink Ranger. Right, because she was the cute one. Yeah. No offense to the Yellow Ranger. They said the first one, the Yellow Ranger, was supposed to be a Black girl, but something happened with the Black girl. The yellow so then they went with the yellow. Coincidentally, or uncoincidentally, was an Asian woman. Mm-hmm. Why y'all made her the Yellow Ranger? And the Pink Ranger, she still be getting roles. I be seeing her all the time on movies. <laughs> <laughs> you know she was on um on, on what she what, what, what was the movie uh Girls Don't Cry or something like that. It was some movie called Girls Don't Cry. And you watched on that. it and that you was were a, like, <laughs> no, I never watched it. I saw, Ranger. I never watched it. I always saw the previews and was like, oh, snap, she on a big movie. That's the Pink Ranger. That was when I was like in middle school. You know how messed up that has to be where you play one role and that's who you are for the rest of your life. You Even Ranger. when you have kids, like the dude who's the seven up guy, mm-hmm. you'd always be like, that was the seven up guy. And then when, when, uh, when, uh, Bo- uh, Bozeman, what's his name? 
Chadwick? When Chadwick died. Oh, he was just Black Panther. He was he like, Black never, Panther didn't die, y'all. He will never be known for anything else. He will forever be, you were just Black Panther, sir. That's it. Black That's Panther it. didn't die, y'all. He got to heaven. Everybody going to be like, Black Panther. <laughs> He's the Black Panther. <laughs> Black Panther. He I like, seen that movie right before. Like, I play, I had other roles, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I did other things. <laughs> I seen that movie right before I fell down the steps, yo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That does suck for everybody who just did any other role other than anything else. Mm -hmm. mm. But back to the Christmas thing. Back to Jesus giving you all these gifts. Jesus gave me gifts, man. That's what my mama wrote down there. That's who brought it. Santa brought everybody else gifts, but Jesus brought me my gifts. Did, what, how did that make you feel? You was like, well, Santa doesn't mess with me. I just get gifts from Jesus. No, I I thought Santa wasn't real. <gasps> I been thought Santa wasn't real. Wait, so wait, I think, hold on. I thought this Santa wasn't real thing. since what? I was like, I was like two, and I knew like three or four. I went, I knew Santa was not real, bro. They told you Santa. They just flat out said, "Travis, Santa is not real." Mm hmm. We we'll said we don't mess with Santa. Santa well, I already real. know your mom is hood, so I can hear her saying, we don't mess with Santa. But Jesus <laughs> always <laughs> takes the will. <laughs> Jesus. His, his. Okay, did you ever ask, how did Jesus come down here and give it to you? No, because uh, Jesus already did. Uh, he, he, got, he raised... From the dead. I'm just trying to you get. You think I'm, I'm gonna ask how your, you got? I'm, I'm trying to get your logic as a child. I thought Jesus was able to just appear into the to the Walmart. <laughs> what I needed. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Jesus had to go to Walmart first. Jesus didn't just create it and have it. He had to go to Walmart, stand in line, wrap it, and then come to your house and give it to you. Now he yep. just didn't appear. Yep. This was your logic. No, he appeared at the Walmart. Got it, what I needed. And got probably some other people's stuff, but mine's was more important. <laughs> so and then brought it Jesus to me. He had a whole bunch of stuff in his queue. In his and car. then, and then that one day that broke your heart was when I stayed up because I wanted to see Jesus. <laughs> I wanted to see Jesus. <laughs> you know what I saw? Your mama. I saw my dad in a towel robe because <laughs> he was too late to put on his clothes. He was in a towel robe and started putting the, 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 the stuff under there. I'm like, really? Really? Okay, though? hold on, hold on, hold on. But yes, it's not Jesus. I knew it was you. Why didn't your logic just go to Jesus gave it to your dad? Because clearly you thought nope. Jesus went to Walmart. Nope. Why I just didn't thought, you just go to that? I thought Jesus, after that, I was like, Jesus just helping them get it. <laughs> he helping them get to work. Give money. I went more logical. Okay. I was logical with it. Like he helping them get their money That's and they able to get it to me. So then at the age of like tw at the age of like nine, I was like, I know they they the ones getting it. It's just them getting it. And they just I pray, pray to G. We just pray to Jesus and they go get. <laughs> <laughs> at nine, you were like, they go to Walmart. They go to Walmart. They go to Walmart. Cause I've just watched them too many times. I'm, I didn't caught them too many times. That sucks. And then when we got to like middle school, middle school, that's when we started finding the gifts. It was like, oh, this that Xbox. This that Xbox. You did that too. Mm -hmm. That's actually how I found out Santa wasn't real. Because, because they was hiding the gifts, huh? They were already wrapped. And my mom, this how, let me tell you, this how stupid kids are. My mom's handwriting is the same on the Santa gift. Mm -hmm. Why did it take so long to put two and two together? Because you ain't know no better. You probably thought this was the best somebody should be writing. So this is Santa too. Why is it to Aaron from Santa, same handwriting, this doesn't make sense. Poor baby ain't know no better. It was at the, it was literally at that moment that like part of my childhood died, it, and I felt it. I was just like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's how it happens. That was that, that was like what? How old was I? Like what? Eleven? <laughs> <laughs> eleven year olds still believe in Santa, right? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. 11, 12, then. 
Cause I'd have looked at you weird because I'd be like, Cause it's not real, bro. Cause He's not out real. Here get still from Jesus. Yeah, I was like, Jesus brought that. Then I'd have been like, Yo, mama bought that. <laughs> you being stupid. Oh, <laughs> you stupid. It's 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 hard to be woke at such a young age, you know. But that's what happens. You weren't woke. Your dad just didn't put on clothes, and he came out too late. I was smart. I was the first. I was the first one to go and check. Everybody else, I'm gonna go to sleep. I didn't put the cookies on there for Santa, nigga. That was your daddy. <laughs> your daddy came down. Wait, so did you ever eat? Did you bake cookies for for Jesus? No. Your childhood, I do not understand. <laughs> They just didn't do all the traditional stuff of, like, those little things. Are you going to do it for your kids? Santa? Are you going to? Yeah. I don't even know, bro. Is that going to be, like, a more of a, like, if I'm into it? I'm going to say whatever gift your mama buy, Santa brought it. Whatever gift I bought, <laughs> Jesus brought that. <laughs> Keep that tradition going. <laughs> They can bake cookies for Jesus, though, and Santa. They can have Jesus and Santa. Jesus is gluten-free. Jesus is gluten-free? I didn't know he was picky. <laughs> he got an intolerance? So he, so he can't be gluten-free, but he can go to the Walmart and pick it up. That's that's more... Why would he be gluten-free? He can eat whatever he wants to. He got superpowers. He has an intolerance. He got an intolerance? Yeah. And that's his one weakness is gluten. Yeah. He can't have regular waffles. And lactose. Can't go to Waffle House. <laughs> that, I think we should wrap this podcast up. That's mind blowing, man. This is where we are now. Man. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have y'all a happy holiday. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Boxing Day. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. If you're non denominational, Happy I'm not Merit home Crim- day. Not, Merit not Crim- non-denominational. What is it? If you don't believe in anything. Happy I'm at home day. Like agnostic or something? Diagnos- agnostic. Agnostic. I was about to say diagnostic. Lord Jesus. Subscribe. But I think they still do Christmas anyways. They just don't care. They just say it's Christmas. Or oh. Xmas or something like that. Anyway, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to see y'all later. Peace. Bye. Check them out. Check them out.